happening this weekend. Coleman County's signature spring event returns, bringing more than 100 artists from across the country. Yeah, in about 48 hours, the St. Bernard Abbey and Prep School will transform for the 40th annual Bloomin' Festival. And joining us this morning to talk more about that event is director for the festival, Joyce Nix. And... I'm a potter from Coleman. Fantastic. All right. So uh, you even brought some examples here, some displays here of the uh, handmade work that she does. Yeah. But before we get into that, it's been a long time, 40 years. So tell us kind of just a, a, about this event, why people love it so much. Well, it's a really unique event. It's set, uh, the setting takes place on St. Bernard Abbey and Prep School, the campus. If you've ever been to Ave Maria Grotto, you know exactly where we are. Okay. The campus is covered. We have 180 artists that will be there to include a blacksmith, a broom maker, of course, our pottery, children's clothes, ladies' clothing. We have a wide variety of a lot of unique and interesting items, uh, customized fire pits, you know, oh. for your lake house or your backyard, wind chimes. It's just a, a huge array of, of wonderful art. Uh, and to round out the weekend on Sunday afternoon at four o'clock, we're giving away a 2024 Jeep Compass. Wow. All you have to do is win. To win is make a donation of $5 to St. Bernard Prep School. That is quite the, uh, quite the prize there. Um, so Blumenfest usually brings in a lot of uh, vendors. You talked about some of them. Is there gonna be any food? We have lots of food. Really? You can eat your way around the whole entire campus. You can start out with cinnamon roasted almonds and go to funnel cakes and strawberry waffles, or you can get some good Koneka sausage oh. or Polish hot dogs or hamburgers. Um, we have kettle corn, funnel cakes. I mean, you name it. We got it. There's no reason to leave hungry. We have bounce houses for the children. We have a train. So it's a family fun event. All right. So you mentioned the grotto. Is there, are there any sort of specials or anything, um, you know, sort of connected with this event for Absolutely. those who want to visit the, the grotto? The grotto is half price, $5 admission. Festival admission is we ask a $10 donation. Children 12 and under are free. Um, so we just invite everyone to come on out and join us and see why everybody raves over this 40 year tradition. And our monks will be there making their, selling their monk bread and their monk cookies. All right. Well, can we try, try, it? try it? Absolutely, I expect you to. While we're trying this, you mentioned everyone coming back to see people for 40 straight years now. Some people, like our guest here, like make, makes handmade different items. Where do you come up with your creations? Well, that's hard to say. It just comes out of my mind. <laughs> uh, at night, I have all kinds of ideas, and I usually get up and try to act on them the next day. Mm -hmm. I'm a retired nurse. I've been retired for 10 years, and I just make pots now, and I love it. Can you tell us about the one in your lap? This is a teapot, and it's a play on the old um, ring jug. I throw this on the wheel, and it's hollow on the inside. Mm -hmm. A long time ago, they would use them for canteens. Mm -hmm. Over the years, it's just become a folk art thing. So I throw these and then I hand sculpt on them. So this has a little kitty cat on it oh. uh, <clears throat> and it's a, it's a teapot. I sell quite a bit of my folk art. I make face jugs and I can even make a face that looks just like you. Oh. Uh, I never <laughs> knew I Creepy. had that talent. <laughs> it's my I face. was blessed with this career yeah. after my first career. That's incredible. I make lots of dinnerware. This is just one of my bowls. I make complete sets of dishes, lots of cups. Um, it's oven safe, dishwasher safe. How long does it take to make? How long? Y yes, ma'am. Each piece, I can start, you know, 20 or 30 pieces today, mm -hmm. but each piece is a month in the making. Mm. Wow. You have to start it and let it dry some because it's mud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I find fascinating about it is three elements. It's fire, water, and mud. And you can make art or dishes that'll last forever. That's awesome. We, we're running out of ta time. I have to say, if this is any preview of the food that you guys have <laughs> yeah. at the festival, I'm down because this is the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had, I think. I finally got a piece that had raisins in it. Phenomenal. Oh. You gotta go out and check it out. It's the 40th year, so obviously they've been around for this long for a reason, folks. Not just food like this, people like this, crafts like this. Go check it out.